Isn't that so annoying too? <laughs> when you're like slacking with somebody and they're like, hmm, let's hop on a call. What are you gonna do differently on the call than send me a quick video? Could you just send me a video? So of like what you're you're asking about and, and what you want me to provide feedback on, I'll send you a quick video back. Um, maybe I just need to finish what I'm working on in order to, to do that. And I don't need to schedule a call, get on the call, say hello and all that. I just need to solve the problem. And what if I have seven direct reports who are asking me the same thing? Can you hop on a quick call? No. <laughs> Send me a video and I'll respond here. That's that, that's what they're trying to say here, which can work really well to, as we know, because we use Loom, to cut yeah. down on time spent in meetings. <laughs>
no matter if it's a movie, a book, a website, tells the story of the status quo, what things are like right now for the hero and their brighter future, where they're going, what their life is going to be like. The story that you're telling matters because it puts you in a competitive space with other people. So if you're telling the story, like Bubbles is here, that you are eliminating meetings, you are putting yourself in competition with Loom, Zoom, and these alternative tools. I mean, taking and on the, the meeting was novel when Loom did it, and I feel like everybody else coming at that positioning is now fighting a boss battle where they are all coming in around this idea of using video to replace a meeting. And then you get even the far-flung competitive alternatives like Zoom, which is asynchronous video meeting. Um, then there are all the async solutions. And it's just a very, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle with messaging like this. So when you're looking at the overall messaging landscape for the competitors and you're thinking, wait a second, I'm just going to say the same thing that the biggest or uh, most used solution in my space is saying, that's a boss battle. And it's a one of the most difficult messaging strategies you could possibly take. The storytelling here when is you... that you're going to have to follow where the message goes instead of leading the way and showing where you want the message to go, defining a, a specific status quo and brighter future that you are the one who, when they think of that thing, when they think of less meetings because of this new async video thing, they don't go, oh yeah, that's Loom, right? Otherwise, you, you have that conversation with other people and they're like, oh no, I mean bubbles. Oh wait, what's bubbles? Wait, I use Loom. What's How is it different? Well, it's the same thing. So why should I switch? Uh, it's just a much harder conversation. It, just, it feels like you're going to be pushing a boulder uphill permanently until you change your messaging or and develop so, some sort of feature that is a showstopper feature that nobody else can keep up with you, which in a GPT-4 world, <laughs> that's going really to be hard. Um, so when we look at storytelling and how talking about the status quo and the brighter future and focusing on a specific facet of that um, is going to change when you use the new solution, what we're trying to do is make it easier for you to persuade based on that story and convert new subscribers, get new followers, get new conversions. And if you're going to take this strategy, you're going to get some conversions, but it's very difficult to optimize on that. It's very easy to compare solutions and how they're positioning their product if you look at their pricing page. Especially if their landing page leaves a lot to be desired and looks exactly like the competitors. The pricing page looks exactly like Loom's pricing page. Let's take a look at Loom's pricing page. Wow, it looks exactly like the other pricing page. So I like that their enterprise says, let's talk. And so does this one. The same. Literally identical. It's cheaper <laughs> by 50% as far as we can tell um, on the monthly plan. And then there are a bunch of other competitors in this space. We know because we've actually been looking for an alternative to Loom. Yeah. Um, one that maybe is a little bit cheaper and a little bit faster for us to use. All right. So subscribe to get more of these. We do them all the time. And check out the free Figma file, which contains the freeze frames from today's Bubbles. And we're also going to do a competitive analysis and table for you. So you'll see Bubbles compared to all of the other async video alternatives. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back soon.